Hi everybody, how are you today? I hope you're doing well and welcome to my channel if you are new and if you've been tuning in and subscribing and liking, I want to thank you and welcome you again. This is the um, Twin Flames Connections. This is the general collective energy and it's an energy check-in on the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. They are the Twin Flames that are in separation for healing. And this is the collective that is channeled through um, my YouTube channel, Empathic Moon 777. I am your tarot card reader, Durga Diana, and I'm coming to you today uh, with the reading for the collective. So uh, today's reading, I'm going to get into the energies of the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. We're going to see the head, how the head space is. And what I focused on was what are they focused on in relation to their divine counterpart? So what are they focused on in in relation to the their divine counterpart? And then I get into what is their main energy that they are in towards each other? And then what is their shared connection? So this reading shouldn't be um, too long. I'm hoping that it'll be uh, maybe about a half an hour or so. Um, but I'm seeing here that, um, like other readings, prior readings, there's a lot of um, work being done and a lot of um, a lot of hard work being done uh, with the emotions, working on um, past feelings, um, working on trying to uh, come out of that. Really coming out of that, I see a lot of energy related to that, and I see as always in all the readings that there is definitely um, a want to do that and also definitely um, an energy to get out of that and into um, a higher state in the connection. So I just wanted to mention that as well and I feel inclined to talk about first and foremost the shared connection. So the shared connection, their energy in their shared connection what is the dominant energy in your connection right now? So both of you want to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You guys want to get together to be honest, to discuss, uh, to to discuss, have conversations with your feelings, uh, with each other. This could be light-hearted. Uh, messages. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, really deep messages, but you guys just want to get together heart to heart and have a conversation with each other. That is your main energy. And what does it have to do with? It has to do with looking for, it has to do with missing each other. So you guys are definitely in this energy of really missing each other. You guys want to get together. You guys want to uh, reminisce, maybe talk about the, talk about making new memories maybe talking about, um, you know, how you guys missed each other, uh, looking at each other's photos, thinking about the good times that you had together. And um, it's in connection to moving away from this heartbreak. So there was definitely some type of heartbreak in your guys's connection. And this heartbreak is showing um, how you're wanting to go past this, you're wanting to make some type of new memories, you're wanting to have some type of heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honest discussions. What I'm getting from here, what I'm getting here is that basically like you know what has taken place, you want to put that all behind you and you want to kind of just get into a space where it's like you can be heart-to-heart, -heart, just be honest, just be truthful, be who you are and uh, really, really get into the conversations about, okay, what is the next steps for us? How can we um, you know, move forward in a positive light in in making uh, new uh, memories uh, where the sun is shining. So that's what the the reading is about for your shared connection. And so with that, um, you guys are wanting to free yourself. So you're persevering with freeing yourself. So both of yous are like, I need to to do this. I want to be free. I want to get out of this cage. I am a special person. I am a unicorn. Um, you know, I'm 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 meant to be out of this gate. I want to be free, and I'm persevering with whatever it is that you're working on, with with whatever it is that you're healing. It's time to uh, come back to control of your life, being free and persevering through that. So both of you mutually are wanting to do this. So this is a really uh, positive energy persevering through this energy of 
wanting to be free, um, coming out of the gates and really coming into a place where there is happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other and coming together in a celebration. So both of you guys, very clear here. We have sun, we have paradise. We had a picture of a sun there. You guys want to have a good time. You guys want the sun shining down upon you guys. You guys want to have celebration. You guys want to maybe have a party together. Maybe get together or something. Uh, you guys want to go to for a walk in the sun or on the beach or go somewhere. Um, you guys want to enjoy each other. Basically, enjoying each other, enjoying the paradise. The paradise which is both of you guys. The paradise which is the uh, environment, the land, the earth. And having these heart-to-heart -heart conversations on how we can move forward and in a light-hearted way I'm not getting anything too uh, serious here very light very free very open so that's your mutual shared energy um, in this uh, reading here that came through so we're gonna get into now um, what is the divine masculine's uh, main energy so his main energy, Divine Masculine's main energy, and then we'll get into Divine Feminine's main energy. So before I get into that, I'm going to talk about what the reading is about for them. So they're, why they're in this main energy. So this is why. So basically, uh, they want to, both of them, they want to forgive. So either both of you have forgiven each other, forgiven each other of the past, forgiven each other of all that crap that happened <laughs> whether it was uh good bad ugly or just um just extremely um difficult and just really maybe uh, the hell moments and the heaven moments but uh, all of that those experiences you know um has gotten to a place for you to to really uh learn about those experience to expand your consciousness expand your soul to, ex to ascend into higher states of um, consciousness and a higher state of being. And basically, you've learned the lessons, you've grown, and you're in a place of forgiving each other. It says here, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So both of you guys, too, is feeling more love in this present moment towards uh, yourselves and towards each other. And you guys are forgiving um, each other, forgiving self, forgiving the the um, experience, forgiving each other, and putting this to an end. So the coffin is ending. So you're putting all that crap, all that stuff, all those energies, all those experiences. Um, you're putting that away in the coffin, and uh, it's getting burned. Like it's it's an ending. It's no more. Uh, something else is going to rise from those ashes. So bringing about new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. And guess what it's for, guys? It's for the uh, Ten of Pentacles. Uh, so all of this energy, it's connected to the Earth realm. It's connected to the abundance in the Earth realm. So as, the, as that fire burned of all those things and all those things have, all of that uh, hurt has been transformed and it has been transmuted now we're getting into these beginnings where it has to do with the the earthly realm and um bringing about new foundations new foundations of um uh abundance in in the 3d so wealth health happiness relationships connections um projects um all built on a on a higher foundation a higher dimensional timeline that is built on a higher frequency of love and light this is what this foundation is built on, this Ten of Pentacles. That's what I'm getting. And with this new beginning. So both of you, you know, you guys are, this is what your main energy is in connection to. So this is why you're in these main energies. Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine is in this energy of the attraction. So he's holding on to the attraction. So basically this uh, forgiving and this learning, putting an end to this, um, to all that stuff. Um, and, and having this, um, this new, um, uh, foundation, uh, stable foundation, um, higher vibrational foundation, 
harmonious foundation with that um he's holding on to that attraction so he's he's holding on to the attraction which is the divine feminine because this is related to the the divine feminine so he's really holding on to uh you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so he's really holding on to the attraction holding on to that energy of um of love in this moment to be able to bring that in he's really holding that um into his being as his main energy and um he's holding on to that in for this uh, progression, he's holding on for that to have uh, to move to 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 move into a different place to progress to move and to uh, maybe have some closures. But I'm mostly getting it's about uh, moving on into um, this energy of the Knight of Cups. So he really wants to make an, a gesture to you. He wants to offer his cup of love. He wants to move on towards that. He wants to offer you this cup of love. And this is what came out. So believe it. This is real. He wants to give you a cup of love. And he wants to move on with this. And he's holding on to this love in this now moment. Trying to embrace this moment and enjoy the moment fully. So he's really, really digging you in this reading <laughs> he really really is wanting to um offer you and uh hold on to this love towards you and uh keep in mind that there is forgiveness here there has been some learning here and there has been some endings and something new arising so for the divine feminine we have this energy here so her main energy is in connection to the sadness and the past life relationship. So you have known each other before. So her main energy is that there is some kind of sadness in connection to this past life relationship. So um, she has forgiven and learned something. So this is about forgiving and learning and putting an end to something. So I feel like this has to do with uh, putting an end to this sadness in connection to this relationship so it has to do with the sadness it could uh it could be some past life work uh it could be about the connection of her knowing that this was some kind of past life connection and there's a lot of energies low vibrational energies that could be connected to those experiences but she is in this energy of you know forgiving this uh forgiving and learning from this this energy and putting an end to these energies. Um, and this past life energy is connected to uh, the snake, um, the enemy, the malicious looking over your shoulder, the other woman with the eight of wands in reverse. The eight of wands in reverse is an energy of delays. It's an energy of frustration. It's an energy relating to resisting change and internal alignment. So there's a different energy here going on with the Divine Feminine. But what I'm getting here is that she's working on um, the, the, the delays or frustrations or the internal um, alignment or the change, the frustrations connected to this snake energy. So the snake energy could be connected to the divine masculine or it could be connected to another a third party connection um, that where she feel like um, maybe this snake energy, whether it's divine masculine, divine feminine, that frustration connected with that and that sadness uh, in connection to this past life relationship. So she's I feel like she's some she's focused on something that's happened in the past. She's focused on something that has uh, some kind of frustration or some kind of delays. And it's it has to do with, um, I'm getting here, it has to do with several things. The past life connection, it could be uh, this, uh, how it has affected the divine masculine and, and them in their connection. Or this could be also um, this other person, this third party, that's also a factor into uh, this sadness and this delays and frustration. But this is the main energy that Divine Feminine is in 
but it has to do with this forgiving and learning. So it's in connection to her forgiving. So forgiving those energies, learning from those energies, healing from those energies, and coming into a place where she's in more love in that present moment and uh, coming into a place of transition into growth into new beginnings regarding this ten of pentacles which is this 3d energy of all of the all of the resources that you could need to thrive and live happily with content with um with joy and abundance so we are going to get into now the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine's um, check-in. But I am um, looking at what they are focused on in connection to each other. So I'm going to get into the reading now. And we are going to look at um, what the reading is about. So the reading is about um, strategy. So their energy check-in has to do with them strategizing over dreams come true. So I'm getting here, both of them are wanting to make this this uh, union happen. They're strategizing how to make it happen. They're working on uh, themselves to make it happen. And I just get a lot of energy here, like they're trying, 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 working hard, how to do this. And we have the Seven of Swords for the masculine in the reverse, and, and we have the Sun in reverse for the feminine. The Seven of Swords in reverse is about, um, this is like feeling not good enough. I'm taking this energy about like um, you're intimidated. You feel like you're not good enough. Like um, it's called um, like you're in a room full of people and you feel like you are little compared to those other people. So I feel like He's strategizing how he, how he can make his dreams come true in connection to him feeling like a small person compared to the Divine Feminine. So it's a little bit of fear. It's actually a lot of fear in connection to the Divine Feminine. So when he's in front of the Divine Feminine, he feels a little, he feels a lack or that's what I'm getting. But he's trying to strategize how he can make his dreams come true in connection to that. So we'll get into the energy here for Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine in the headspace, we have this energy related to action in reverse. So this action in reverse, so he's like, he's uh, focused on like, he's focused on working this on this energy in his headspace. So in his headspace, there's something in his headspace that is not causing him to move forward. There's something that's causing him to like, um, it's not it's not a balanced action forward movement. It's like something that's stopping him from, from moving and taking action. And it's in connection from him having anxiety being the divine masculine. So the divine masculine is basically, he's in a lot of anxiety in his headspace on how he's going to move forward because there's this lack feeling, but he's strategizing how to make his dreams come true. So the divine masculine is trying to work on that. He's focused in his head about those energies and making a change regarding his to make his dreams come true. For the divine masculine in the heart space, we have this energy of trust. So basically, he wants to trust. This is the fool's energy. He wants to trust, take a leap of faith, and, and go off into the unknown regarding the divine, ma uh, divine feminine. So he's wanting to take a leap of faith and trust regarding, you know, in his heart, regarding moving forward with his truth regarding this passionate new beginning with the, the divine feminine. So in his heart, he really has this energy of passion moving forward with that very quickly and really, really taking that leap of faith in his heart so that he can come out of this um, feeling lack in his strategy for making his dreams come true. In the Divine Masculine in the environment, we have this energy of blossoming abundance. So in the environment, he may feel uh, another sense of lack in his environment. He may not feel like he is uh, cut out uh, for this or something is stopping him from 
from um you know having this abundance having uh the seeing the abundance or um how this abundance can be attained and so we have the queen of swords in reversed here queen of swords in reversed is this it's an emotional feeling maybe perhaps you're being overly emotional maybe you're being overly influenced maybe there's some kind of cold-hearted energy something like that but it's connected to the to the seven of swords so in the environment we have this energy of like the seven of swords coming up the seven of swords is like a deceitful energy a deception energy and this deception energy is can is is causing him to be overly emotional it's causing him to shut down a little bit and it's it's causing him to feel like he cannot he cannot see the abundance in this 3d world so this divine masculine is focused on working on this energy connecting to the divine feminine so he in in connection so he can strategize away from this feeling lack so he can have his dreams come true the divine masculine spiritually so we're going to get into spiritually spiritually the divine masculine is uh in this energy he's focused on choosing his battle spiritually so spiritually in connection to the eight of swords so and the ace of wands so basically spiritually his main energy is that there's this mental conflict in regards to this uh, ace of wands ace of wands ace of wands two passionate new beginnings heart and spiritually and so spiritually he's working on um you know like he's trying to be careful um trying to be careful in connection to the mental conflict with this passionate new beginning he's trying to be careful i'm getting here he's trying to be careful because um he wants to make his dreams come true and he wants to be able to um uh come up with a strategy like a, a way that he can come out of this um without uh getting into this mental entrapment so i feel like with divine masculine there's a lot of uh things that are bothering him mentally that are uh, and it, it causes him to shut down it causes him to um retreat from um believing that the dreams can come true so he's really working on these things this is what he's focused on we have nine of swords here we have seven of swords here we have eight of swords here we have the seven of swords in reverse there's a lot of mental energy here that he's really trying to work on that i'm getting here um but at the end of the day we have here dreams are coming true and this is what he wants you've seen what the main energy was and you sh you've seen what the shared connection was so do please believe in that um for divine feminine here so we talked about the strategy and the dreams coming true but for divine feminines we have the sun in reverse so basically the sun in reverse is an energy relating to being overly optimistic um it could be related to um health reasons it could be like ill health it could be about depression so here we have divine masculine feeling lack here we have divine feminine feeling uh depressed or being overly optimistic but both do uh are in this energy of strategizing to having their dreams come true so for the divine feminine in the headspace her main energy that she's focused on relating to divine masculine is the man holding a coin so she's focused on the divine masculine in a 3d way um as somebody grounded and stable this is the masculine in the 3d world grounded and stable and it's uh in connection to this five of wands in reversed five of wands in reversed is inner conflict so she's focused on the inner conflict um the tension in connection to a grounded and stable divine masculine and it's causing some type of stalemate so the stalemate within the connection right now so as you see divine masculine is having some uh some he's working on his mental mind and then the divine feminine is working on um the stalemate in connection to the inner conflict related to um the divine masculine as a stable 
grounded, 3D, masculine, which he is. He definitely is. He is that. But it's just that he doesn't believe that or that it can. Like he comes into this lackful energy. So that's what I'm getting here. But that's what she's focused on and that's what she's trying to um, come out of. She's strategizing to... Um, to um what do you call it she's strategizing to um to make her dreams come true in connection to this depression so in the heart we have her main energy in the heart that she's focused on is this energy related to believe and succeed so she in her heart beautiful energies in the heart space we have believe and succeed so we have some really strong energy for the heart spaces for both the twins here. Believe and succeed is like, yeah, this is like a consciousness, you know, in the heart. Believing and succeeding in the heart space. That's a really beautiful energy. Number six is about balance. And then we have it clarified by balance movement forward, stable movement forward, grounded movement forward. Um, and so with that, it's clarified by the four of wands. This is about reunion. This is coming together. This is about, um, this is union and celebration and coming together. So she is in the heart, is believing and succeeding, you know, that, you know, things are going to happen the balance uh, movement is going to take place. This union is going to take place. This is what she's focused on in the heart as her strategy for her dreams to come true regarding any type of um, uh, maybe kind of, um, I'm going to say depression, but maybe kind of sadness over the connection, something like that. Or it could be about being overly optimistic, but there could be some kind of sadness there connected with that. In the environment, we have the Divine Feminine in the heart space here. So she's focused on, in the environment, the Divine Masculine as the man holding a heart. This is the masculine energy that's, um, you know, has a full heart and able to give from the heart. So we have a lot of masculine energy here. She's really thinking about Divine Masculine. Uh, divine Masculine here and then Divine Masculine in the heart space, in the environment. So she's her, her she's focused on this is the main energy she's focused on the divine masculine in the heart space and um giving from the heart and uh it's clarified by the king of cups so another heart energy very heart centered masculine here coming through mastering his emotions and um it's clarified by the wheel of fortune reversed and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse is about losing balance. It could be about losing balance. It's an energy about maybe um, like you are, like timing is off. Maybe the timing is off. Uh, maybe like the instincts that you have. Maybe you had an instinct, uh, but the timing is um, was off. And uh, it may be causing some type of losing balance. Um, and, uh, it's just a, it's just a matter of getting, you know, back into alignment and getting back into the swing of things with this wheel of fortune in reverse. So, um, so for her, she's, um, um, yeah. Okay. So she's, she's just, uh, I feel like she's just kind of focused on, um, She's focused on like this heart-centered masculine in the environment. She's focused on that this heart-centered masculine in the environment, giving from the heart space, being stable, being able to operate from the heart space, being a master of his emotion and having these divine masculine leadership qualities. But it's in connection to like um, wherever that she's uh, losing some type of balance in connection to this uh, energy that he is where there's any kind of losing balance because of a timing factor or because of maybe second guessing her intuition she's um focused on on coming back to um having a strategy as her strategy to making her dreams come true so she's always coming back to focus on divine masculine uh in the heart center Okay, so uh, for we, what we have here for Divine Feminine spiritually here.
Okay. Spiritually, we have this energy of challenging times. So she's focused on spiritually. So what she's focused on spiritually is this energy related to challenging times. So when, when there's some challenges that are coming up in the Divine Feminine that's related to the Divine Masculine, she is wanting to um, rebirth, but it's clarified by the Nine of Wands. She's wanting to persevere with this rebirth. So spiritually, when there's something that's challenging for her, she's coming back uh, spiritually to persevere with this rebirth energy. Uh, so what I'm getting, it's like a bounce back. If something is challenging her, regarding her, regarding what she's feeling, regarding her connection, regarding the divine masculine, she kind of bounces back. She redirects the energy to persevere and uh, to persevere with this uh, judgment, which is about a rebirth. It's about a reconciliation. It's about things uh, coming back uh, renewed uh, in a good way. So that's what she's focused on spiritually uh, relating to the divine masculine. So I'm wondering if I should get another message here. Just hold on one second. All right, so I pulled out the Starseed Oracle. I'm just going to get a card here for just a, a card for inspiration for this reading here. Okay. All right, so Angel Saunders and Spirit, what is your message here for this reading for the twins that are going to be watching this uh, reading? Angel Saunders and Spirit, what is your message? What do you want them to know right now for their highest good? All right. Okay, we have this here. Okay, so we have jump in. So Andromedan energy adventure say yes to change. Okay, so basically what I'm getting here is that um, uh, they want you to jump in. They want you to jump in. They want you to take in this new energy and to, to take go on an adventure. Um, so if you're receiving some type of um, intuition or you're receiving some type of whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that you're working on that's happening through this reading here that is being shown, they're saying to jump in, to take an adventure and say yes to change. So saying yes to change is, um, I guess it's almost like coming into inviting something in to come in, saying yes to change. And I'm going to read what this message here is as additional uh, message. Jump in. Jump in. Jump in. Here it is. Jump in. So jump in is Andromedan energy. is a spiral galaxy closest to the Milky Way. Um, Okay, so this card is asking you to um, find calm in the chaos, to swim with the tides. You're being guided to jump in. Don't wait for permission. Don't stall until you feel. Don't don't stall until you feel ready. Take a deep breath, and go old. Run up and jump right on in. Life bends for courageous, and courageous is what you are being called to be. You're ready. You're already facing the right direction. The only thing left to do is leap. Um, you'll figure out the details as you go along. <laughs> Things may not always be smooth sailing. Life on earth rarely is. However, it's the rough, rougher seas that teach us how to sail with glory. And once you know that, you can navigate any sea, ocean, or storm. All right. Fall in love with the waves, it says. Okay. So basically... Fall in love with the waves. If there's any kind of like, um, if there's anything like that is negative or anything that's blocking or anything that's like um, perceived as something that's a block or a hinder to your connection or to your progress in your connection, they're saying um, 
they're saying to um, let that empower you. Let that empower you. Let that light empower you to continue and go in to the wave and go for it. Be courageous. Say yes to change and dive right in. This is an adventure for you and you have what it takes to go. Keep going. Dive in. You're ready. Be courageous and you'll know what to do when things come along. Just go with it. They're saying go with it. <laughs> So that's your message here. And then I'm going to get one more for you guys, okay? Alrighty. One more, okay. So, all right. Message for Divine Masculine. Message for Divine Masculine. Okay, Divine Message for Divine Feminine. Message for Divine Feminines. All right, message for Divine Feminines. I'll go this way. Oh. All right. Okay, right on. Okay, we got moderation as the bottom there. Okay, so I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to just actually clarify. All right, can we clarify completion? I should actually use a fresh new deck here. Okay. All right, can we clarify completion as your message for Divine Masculine? Okay, all right, justice and intuition. Divine Feminine, clarify. Okay. Alrighty. So, okay. So, the energy here for the message for the Divine Masculine is justice regarding the completion. So, basically, um, there's something that's there's something that needs to be completed or something that needs to be done. That's what I'm getting here. And they're wanting to say your message here is to have some kind of justice. So it either is about you trying to um, bring uh, bring about justice, like uh, making things right, um, balancing the scales, make, doing the right thing. Um, it could be about bringing about balance in connection to something that needs to be completed. So um, it either could be about you or this could be about something. Take it how it applies. But there's an energy here where spirit is asking you to have some type of just justice in completing something, having a completion of something. This could be some kind of healing work. This could be something in the mind or this could be something that's going on in the 3D realm uh, with your life, in your environment. Um, but the message here is having some type of justice in regards to some type of completion. That's your message. And then for the Divine Feminine, her message is using your intuition regarding the Ten of Cups. So the intuition, it came up uh, in a reversed. Uh, this is about disharmony. So using your intuition in connection to this Ten of Cups to make things, um, to come back to a place of uh, the challenging times and coming back to persevering with the rebirth. So utilizing your intuition, I'm getting here, your intuition is pretty right on. <laughs> and using your intuition to, um, to, to come to a place back into balance, to put balance back into yourself, put balance back into the connection or put balance back into whatever it, it, you need to because you're the divine feminine and uh, they're saying that your intuition is is remarkable and impeccable and you're able to know uh, and find out what is uh, in out of balance or where there's disharmony. Um, and so utilize your intuition. It could be either way. That's what I'm taking in connection to the Ten of Cups or in connection to uh, disharmony. But that's your message here. So if this resonated with you, don't forget to leave a like or comment, share and subscribe to Empathic Moon 777. I offer personal readings as well. Uh, that information is going to be below in the description box. 
And also there's Instagram I'm on as well. Make sure you follow me there because I do a lot of pick a card readings and um, they're pretty cool. Daily readings as well. And uh, if you go onto my website on um, empathicmoon.com, you can enter your email and information. You can be on the email uh, subscription list. I, I will give you a free reading, a free one card reading as well. And um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm also on TikTok as well. And uh, what's the other one? Facebook as well. So um, anyways, I hope you're doing well and I hope you had a good weekend and I'll, I'll see you soon. Until next time, I love you all and take care.